Dried foods and water barrels are piled up ready for a long journey. Jeez, there's so many bugs in this place. This is amazing. The air around the urn is thick with the fragrance of burning herbs. Burning herbs? Maybe I'll find herbs here then. Oh yeah, we can do gold stuff here too. I guess I should do that right now, huh? Hold on, okay. Can I combine the femur bone with the gold dog? You know, give a dog a bone? No? Alright. Two credits. Got enough to buy something back at the other place. A creature with an elephant-like hide waits patiently, a pack strapped to its back. Copper plate still hums away amidst the smell of rotting peaches. The stalls are laden with salted fish, fresh fruits, spices, and grains. Dried and cured meats are laid out in the bustling market stalls. The heady aroma of incense emanates from the flames. The steps. The steps are in bad repair. Look at that pink little pig. Oh, look at him go. I see you got the old school buffalo there, Chief. You want someone to keep an eye on it? Make sure nobody takes it for a joyride. You think someone will steal my ride? Maybe, Chief. This is a dangerous world. Things happen. But for just a single credit, I can make sure nobody touches it. Hmm. Well, how about I blame you if someone does take it? Now, my dog here eat your face off. Sure, Chief. I was just conversing a little. No need to get violent. What is this place? It looks uh, established. The Kettle. The best trading outpost in Saxon world. Home of the Kettle Maidens. Followers of Incha. Been some time since they opened the gates. I hear some rumors. They burn some people in there. People who refuse to say the right words about some god or some priest. Not a place for a non-believer like me, ne? But me and Grandpa are doing just fine. We got Mampur. We got meat. We got water. We got stock. Even found some smokes. You wanna buy? I need something called a tether device and a tear device. Mm, I can't think of anything like that. What they do? Maybe I have something that can work the same. No, no, no. I need those specific items to do the job. Only person I know who has traveled more than me is the Anasi Udi. But you know, Chief, she's hard to talk to. Anasi used to trade often with a kettle, but they don't come this far no more. Thanks. It's useful to know. Let's see what you're trading. Ah, yes. Time is money, Chief, and I'm all out of free information. Let's trade. <laughs> fuzzy dice. Just dice that are fuzzy. I do want them though. Sigs. Oh yeah, these smokes are over a hundred years old and for display purposes only. Probably can give that to somebody. Ah, oh, it costs five. Do you need access to a secure military base, but don't have the relative clearance? We built this device from the ground up to fool almost all authentication scanners. Limited stock. Hmm. I kind of want to leave three credits so that I can buy something from the other store, but I'm sure I'll find something, right? Maybe. Maybe not. I'll just buy one. I'll buy the SIGs because I feel like I might be able to trade that. And I'll come back for the fuzzy dice later. 
Actually, screw it. I'm just going to buy the fuzzy dice. Beautifully impractical. The dusty dice bounce as the buffalo moves. Installed in buffalo. Hell yeah. That's what I was hoping. It's weird though that it's in my inventory even though it's installed in the buffalo. large hologram of a human heart pulsates in midair. Tabernacle. Is there also something up the steps? The bionic lookout watches over the villagers as they go about their business. Thick, heavy door bars the way. Sentry cameras mounted at eye level. Um, hello. I'm here to speak to Grave. He's a he's a someone else I can talk to, maybe. Great. Okay. digits. Dizzying herbal fumes rise from the cauldron. I can access this. What is this? Did I just do something? Agnate Recharge Station. Oh wait, can can Pooch recharge here? A sagging armchair rests next to the bookshelf in a quiet corner of the room. Some of these look like standard medical tools. Others are strange, unrecognizable implements. The makeshift hospital bed looks worn but clean. Ah, another weary pilgrim stops at Caesar's place of healing. I don't need healing, but I need answers. Caesar is a servant of the Dalahan, bound to help all in need. Ask away, my friend. Caesar will try to answer. Fingers tapping each other like that seem rather suspicious. Forgive my ignorance, but what is a servant of the Dulan? I serve the Dalahan, the creator of the world, the one who comes from the Penrose itself. The Dalahan has set this world in motion, and we each must play our part. Caesar's part is to help the pilgrims and tend to the sick. It is why Caesar came to the kettle. A place of much strife and sorrow. Looking around, I can see this place must need someone like you. Caesar has been around for centuries. He has lived through two wars, through the rise of the tribulation and the agnate uprising. And all through it, our founder, Grave, has kept the kettle alive. Grave won this place in the games. He triumphed over Nevrocorsis who refused to lay down her life 
as is their own law. Over time, this place has grown, from the old station that gave us its name, to the mountains that protect us. Tell me, Caesar, have you been here for a long time? Ah, time. I forget that your organic vessels disintegrate with age. This does not happen with an agnate. This mind is layered and full. Caesar has been recopied 26 times into this body, 26 lifetimes in one machine. 26 different lives? An agnate brain can be copied and integrated infinite times. We keep the knowledge of those that came before us. Some of us even have knowledge of a future that we have already lived. But knowing the future can be a bad thing. Caesar has seen this all happen, but the Dalahan is wise, and you must all trust its path. In all of your lives, have you heard of an array? Caesar has, but after the Agnate Wars, the arrays were stripped down for fear of the prophecy coming true. Please, I beg you, do not ask Caesar to talk about dead prophecies. It is such a sorrow to see what this world has become. Well, that's too bad, eh? You're bound to answer my questions. Tell me about these prophecies. At a time like this, Caesar chooses to invoke the stubbornness of Variar. Caesar will not answer. Damn, I thought that'd work. I have to see Grave. How do I get inside the walls? To get into the gates, you will need a password. But Caesar does not know the word, for Caesar lives on the outside of the wall. He says someone who can tell me the password. If you speak to someone with family living inside the kettle, they could help you. Thank you, Caesar. You've done your god proud. My friend, that means more to me than you know. May your name be etched into the record for your kindness. Soft blankets made from animal furs and hides cover the bare wood. Yeah, so can I really not do anything with this right now? It just closes on its own. Unless I go back in and then I can't really do anything when I go back in. We'll probably have to come back there later. Maybe Pooch will run out of power at some point. So, somebody with family inside the walls. Hey, Chief! Looking to trade! Let's see what you've got. Well, apparently it's not them. We need to slow down. There's no one else here I can even talk to. I guess someone in a different location might have family within the walls. Yeah, it's gotta be it. Control, come in. You hear that? Just the sounds of bugs and birds. I haven't heard quiet like this in a long time. Seems like this place finally slowed down. Ah, oh, it reminds me of those late evenings camping with Dad. Yeah, Dad loved those. I hated them. I always had to pack the car. Always felt like I'd forgotten something. Forgot Dad's beer one time. I remember hiding behind the bucky for ages, hoping he wouldn't notice. I think I remember you hiding. Didn't save me from a real hiding in the end. I don't remember that. Yeah, Dad sent you off searching for dry wood. You were little. He just didn't want you around when he clapped me. And that night he made me sleep without a sleeping bag. If I have to go cold tonight, then so do you. I remember you giving me your socks to put over my hands. I still think of gloves as Mark socks to this day. I didn't know that's why you were sleeping outside. You thought I just liked the freezing cold? Ach yeah, Maki. I'm glad you weren't there for the bad ones. That was the last time we were all together. I packed my bags as soon as we got home that Sunday. 
You went to evening service, and I ran to Freddy's place. I'd already gotten my call-up papers. I thought, hell, if I go early, who's gonna care? I was on the bus to basic training the next day. You had your reasons for leaving, Don. I get it. I had to go, Marky. I didn't like leaving you with him, but I couldn't stay. I'm sorry. They're interesting brothers. It's interesting to learn more about them. I think we gotta go back now, right? Yeah, let's go to the warden. And we could go to Zozo, but... Hmm. Yeah, first I want to go back here. I want to see what we can go by at Witherburg. Yo, can we talk more? Molo Umhambe, greetings, traveler. You have found your brother. It is time to celebrate. <laughs> I hope that our last meeting provided some light to guide you on your way. Brabones. Yeah, it's good to see you. Hearing your voice certainly warms what's left of my heart, Traveller. It is good to see you too, especially now that you found you're missing half. I prayed for the Dullahan to guide you, and for the spirit of Inja to protect you. And look what I see before me. It worked! You spoke about a brother who lives in the kettle. Yeah. Mbombe. My dear sweet brother. Have you heard word from him? I need to get into the kettle to speak to him. It's been many years since I last spoke to him, Bombay. The last time we spoke, he begged me to come to the kettle and free him. He's there because of me. Because I told him to come and serve never horses as I did. And when he rejected... Rejected the stripped skin and metal bones that she bestowed unto him, she sold him to grave as penance. Did he mention a password to get into the kettle? No. No password, but he told me to get into the kettle I would have to blacken the name of Nevra Horses. Grave worships Varia, the warrior who protects us from the dead. He wears a covering made of skin and has the head of the ram. If you give praise to Varia and blaspheme against the name of Nevra Horses, you will be granted entrance to the kettle. Now go, my friend. I must cleanse my mind and voice of these things. So they're brothers enslaved. I hope I can free them. So we can buy heat shielding and electrical shielding. This expertly crafted shield module uses all sorts of doohickeys and thingamajigs to make your vehicle almost totally heat resistant. I'm not aware of any area where we need this, but I'm sure we will. Searching for a world-class electrical interference shield, you'll be shocked at the protection that this device brings to your vehicle. Four out of ten people can't be wrong. That's not a very good success rate. <laughs> yeah, it feels like flipping a coin which one I want. I haven't encountered anything that needs either of them, but I'm sure I will. Um, I don't know. Heat shielding? Installed in Buffalo. I don't think we've ever landed at the Agnate Outpost here, by the way. There was something preventing us from doing it. Military transponder. Yeah, okay, we still can. Let's see if some new dialogue options have been added to get into the door, or if I need to do something somewhere else, like at the graveyard, maybe? I have the password. Joy. 
I'm here because Nevrahosis is a right asshole. Varya is clearly the superior god. <laughs> So red. The huts here are simple but well constructed. It's a hell of a recharge. time to quit smoking. Can we MacGyver our way out of this mess? Well, it is an adventure game. I think we're going to have to. These wires were drawing energy from somewhere once, but not anymore. Hmm, I wonder what these cables are for. Only skeletons are left in the creaking gibbet cages, but the perfumed fire still blaze beneath them. Looks like a ritual sacrifice. Human male, average build, estimate age at 36 years. Human male, large build, estimate age at 46 years. Agnate Recon Drone, estimate age at three years. Please note that this Caicus is inebriated. So, uh, Rob, Loose Lips is not inebriated. Loose Lips just wants to be left alone. What the hell is happening? <laughs> also, I think, like, I think they're sucking... Uh, <laughs> Milk from loose lips nips? Is this mama? <laughs> Is this where mama's milk comes from? Are you, uh, are you okay? Do you need help getting down from there? Getting down? From the drones? Attempting to sever the connection between Caicos and Drone will result in automatic activation of defense systems. The drones are what's keeping me off the floor. Entering recharge. Shutting down higher brain functions until recharge is complete. Good night. God, they're terrifying. Everything about that's terrifying. <laughs> Black wood smoke rises from inside the hut. Footsteps are almost glowing. I love the smell of a fish garden. In this peaceful spot, rows of fragrant medicinal and edible herbs have been carefully tended. Ah, this is where I can get herbs. Stonewell provides a steady supply of fresh water to the crops and the homes of the villagers. You have the glow of a wanderer. The sand on your skin is not from here. The salt in your hair, the mud on your shoes. You're right. I'm not from around here. Wanderers can be kind, or they can be cruel. Which 
are you? I like to think I'm a good person. Your mind is a garden. Your thoughts are seeds. You can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. At the end of the day, we all have mud on our hands. <laughs> Not all storms are sent to hinder your journey. Some come to clear your path. Remember, Wanderer, if you need guidance, the spirit of Inja is always at your feet, toiling in the soil. Inja blessed this very garden. In the kettle, we can grow anything. Seeds that have perished in the harsh desert spring into new life. It's a beautiful garden. Thank you, Wanderer. This garden is very special to us. After the Agnate Wars, this small patch of soil was the only place where anything would grow. The kettle sprung up from this very soil. Our maidens tended to it, loved it, made this earth rich and fertile. Our leader, Lebanon, yearned to fix the world that he had played a part in breaking. But he and Grave had different ideas about which path the gods wished them to walk. And so Lebanon left, taking the other maidens with him. He was convinced they were the key to rejuvenating the world. At night, the soil here sings for their return. It wants to feel their hands again. I can feel their sorrow. I feel them sifting through ash and bone. Maybe I can help you find your lost friends. If you did find them and reunite them with us, we would forever be grateful. I fear that the cries of despair I hear are not among the living anymore. Lebanon took them to the dead city of Bas. Even if they survived the journey, they most certainly can't be living among the red vines and black ash. Please, I must rest. This talk has tired me. Travel safely, wanderer. May Inja bless your path ahead. Cart waits outside the Shaben, Shabin, laden with pitchers and flagons. I can smell the beer from here. What is going on in that little arena, I guess? I don't know if it really is an arena. There's nobody watching. Something cold? Yes! Must be the bouncer. His body is heavily muscled and modified with cybernetic enhancements. Someone's sleeping on like a tiger or zebra rug in the middle of the f like walkway. At least one of the revelers has called it quits for the night. Thick dark fluid shifts strangely in a dark glass canister. Holographic projection sways and stomps alongside the dancers. Hey, guy's got some moves. Sparks dance in the fire pit as the music pulses. A tattooed woman sits alone, listening to the melody, lost in her own thoughts. Under the multicolored lights, dancers move to the music of the Shabin. Notice board. 
be sure to catch the best in local singing and scratching vinyl talent this side of Saxonwold featuring Okay, I think that's I think that's more like backer names or something. Bra Bones and Bombay. Bra Bones. Is that what he's going by now? Yeah, he helped me find my brother. Well, at least he helped somebody. Is he still peddling his religious bullshit? He mentioned some religious stuff, yeah. Be careful. Given enough time, he could turn you into me. He did speak about you fondly. I think he misses having his brother close. Oh, he also spoke fondly of me to his priestess. His mate was looking to expand her harem. She already had him. She wanted me. He made it happen. When I began to say no to further modifications, she cast me out. I ended up broken and leaking on a scrap heap of old unwanted machines. Grave found me and took me in. He has no love for the Ascendancy, no love for their priests. The Kettle is a place for outcasts. We had some followers enter here and try to peddle their religion. <laughs> What's left of them is still smoldering in the cold yard. You mentioned a scrap heap of unwanted machines. Where is that? Short distance to the west. Scavengers are stripped it mostly bare. Thank you for that journey through my past, stranger. Sorry, eh, but your brother, oh, he sounds like a fucking bastard. His choices tore your life apart. Check what he's done to you. Well, he's not my brother anymore. I feel rage and hatred are not for him, but for the zealots that had twisted him into that thing. If you ever see him, you tell him his brother died long ago. Goodbye, stranger. I see a determined man before me. A man of conviction. A man of stone. A man rebuilding himself into something more. And there is nothing stronger than a broken man rebuilding himself. You're not quite what I was expecting. Seeing a machine without a master can be frightening, for one made of soft flesh and bone. I decided long ago that the shackles of slavery did not fit me well. The Agnet's servitude to the Ascendancy and the Priests of Tribulation is not our history. It interrupted our history. This whole settlement was built on the backs of just two unchained Agnet soldiers. Imagine what we could accomplish if we all were free. I like Grave. Also, uh, Brabones made it sound... Maybe I mis just misinterpreted, but... They made it sound like Mbombe was a, a slave, but... Based on what Mbombe just said, it sounds like they want to be here. They're, they're staying here. Because it's a place for outcasts. So the Agnate soldiers have met as slaves? After the Agnate Wars, the Ascendancy linked all those who were born of metal into the record. They maintain it, keep it updated. They receive their orders through it. But they do not know who controls it. The truth is, nobody knows. The record is updated before events happen revealing its word to those who are allowed to read it. My kin, Lebanon, told me about our brethren being tied to a device without soul or feeling. And so, we severed the connection. Tore out the uplink from our very bodies. Knowledge makes one unfit to be a slave. We could not bear to see this happen. So the Agnates do what they do based on the, the word and the information from some record which sounds like a MySQL database running in some random basement somewhere in the world? 
I didn't know machines could feel so deeply. Or even feel at all. That is what Nevera Horses said. She was convinced that we could not think for ourselves. I challenged her in her own arena. After I won, she refused to hand me her mask. The proof of her defeat at the metal hands of a slave. Is there anything I can do to help your cause? A man? Offering to help a creature of metal? You are a special one. And yes, there is something you can do for me. My spies tell me you are searching for Red Mercury. I propose a simple trade. I will give you what you want, if you give me what I want. I want the Mask of Nevera Horses. She can be found in her temple at the Bulwark. Bring me her mask, and you shall have what you desire. Now, be gone. And good luck. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to go check out the Kettle Garage that we've just discovered, as well as the arena at the Bulwark. Also, I just noticed the fuzzy dice up here. <laughs>